The problem is art doesn't always translate to sales. Hey everyone, welcome to Two Cents. I'm John Timmerman, and we're gonna get back to some marketing talk today. Um, today in the podcast, I talked about how creative in marketing is sort of like food. Some people like it, and some people don't. Well, not food really, but types of food, right? So some people like chocolate cupcakes, and some people like red velvet cupcakes, some people like vanilla cupcakes. Well, creative, that's videos, pictures, text, brands, logos, people like different things. And it's insane that we still have this battle between brands and their agencies or people within the brands or people within the agencies that are highly biased and subjective about their work, right? So you might have a creative director um, or even you might have a script writer who's written a banging script and they just love it because it's creative, it's funny, whatever it might be, but um, but they launch it and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work because the consumers don't think it's funny. Nobody else thinks it's funny. Or maybe the test group that they launched it to was an internal test group in the agency and they thought it was funny and creative, but they never tested it against an actual consumer. That is a problem because creative is subjective. There's no way to know, there's zero chance you can know whether it's going to work without actually testing it out. And we're stuck in this old Mad Men, Madison Avenue agency format. Um, even in today's digital world on digital platforms, we're stuck in this old format of creative directors and, um, and producers and videographers and art directors and, and all of these levels that approve content. And that subjectivity from an internal standpoint is never gonna change because artists are artists. That's what they do best is they create art. The problem is art doesn't always translate to sales and metrics and business results. So this understanding needs to be really fleshed out from the get-go to prevent all of this um, wasted money and wasted effort from happening. So at the end of the day, when you're growing your brand, growing your business, you're pitching a new idea, launching a new product, you need to make sure everyone involved understands that, listen, none of these things are going to move forward unless we test them. And I don't care how you test them, uh, as long as it's an unbiased test. You know, run a little Facebook ad with the actors that you're thinking about hiring for your video. See if people respond well to them. Um, you know, to put in your Instagram stories for your brand uh, a, a couple of posts with two different colors. See which one performs better. There's an infinite way, a number of ways you can test things using free digital means and that go to your own audience and it can be very effective to crafting your strategy moving forward. But moral of the story is don't move forward with any brand strategy without testing it first. That's just my two cents. Thanks everyone. See you next time.